Zhuangzhou dreams of a butterfly, or a butterfly dreams of Zhuangzhou. After Fang Lin arrived in the world of the wilderness, he became the tribal chieftain at the beginning. At this time, it is in the early stages of the Lich Wars, how did Fang Lin lead the tribe to grow step by step, in the battles of deer hunting, the struggle for the emperor, and who will win? Who is the first mastermind behind the great apocalypse of Fengshan? Establish a great religion, become a saint, and attain eternal life. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 I Became the Chief of a Tribe You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hm Zhuangzhou Dreams of a Butterfly or a Butterfly Dreams of Zhuangzhou In a hazy state, Fang Lin suddenly unraveled the mystery of the fetus and quietly awakened the memories of his past life. Now in this desolate world, there are no earth-shattering wonders, nor have they attracted much attention. Opening my eyes, I saw a thatched cottage, a dirt bed, a stone table, and a stone pier. At this moment, Fang Lin was wearing a white crane Taoist robe, with a purple golden gourd pinned to his waist and a blue jade hairpin inserted into his head, dressed in a dignified and authentic way. Fang Lin sat cross-legged, recalling memories in his mind. Dong Dong. Suddenly, someone was knocking on the door outside the thatched cottage. Fang Lin stood up and opened the door, only to see a middle-aged man who appeared to be extremely strong, wearing animal skin and holding a wooden spear in his hand. After seeing Fang Lin, the middle-aged man respectfully said, Young Master Fang Lin, Chief, please come and see him. Young Master. I didn't expect to be the young master of a human tribe. I don't know what year it is now, Fang Lin was secretly surprised. Well, let's go. Fang Lin remained calm and nodded lightly, then asked the middle-aged man in front of him to lead the way to meet the chieftain. After leaving the thatched cottage, Fang Lin immediately froze when he saw the environment around the tribe, undoubtedly, it is a legendary wasteland world, and the current human tribe looks similar to the savage tribe. Not far away, one side is a dense primitive forest, and the other three sides are high mountains, with about two to three acres of flat land in the middle, this is the place where the entire tribe resides, with about ten grass houses. Visually, there are no more than forty people in the entire tribe. Excluding the elderly and children, it is estimated that there are less than half of the adults. Fang Lin had a linen expression on his face and followed the middle-aged man to the middle of the flat ground, there are many people around here, it seems that the entire tribe is here. At first glance, almost all of them are yellow-faced and thin-skinned, with only a few people looking powerful and powerful. After seeing Fang Lin and his team arrive, the people surrounding immediately made way for a passage, Fang Lin walked in and saw an obviously critically ill old man lying on the mound. Chief Fang Lin looked at this and knew that the person in front of him was the chief. Upon hearing Fang Lin's greeting, the chieftain reluctantly opened his murky eyes and looked for a long time before seeing Fang Lin in front of him, trembling, he reached out his hand and held on to Fang Lin, saying, Fang Lin, my life is not long. I sent you a letter the day before yesterday asking you to return to the tribe, which means you must lead everyone to survive well and strengthen our high mountain tribe. Do you know? Before Fang Lin could speak, he saw the chieftain violently shake a few times, suddenly, his body straightened up, and his throat purred a few times before he died like this. The dozens of people in the tribe seemed accustomed to life and death, without sadness or crying. When they saw the chief's death, they immediately began shouting, Chief Fang Lin. It's purely coercion. This is it. Fang Lin was stunned for a long time, not expecting to encounter such a thing as soon as he woke up, at this point, the people of the tribe had already tidied up the body of the old chieftain and scattered it. I have no choice but to accept it. After all, Fang Lin also comes from this tribe. Walking up to an old man sunbathing, Fang Lin asked about the current situation of the tribe. The old man suddenly became enthusiastic, speaking of our tribe, we actually don't know when we came to this place. 
Anyway, everyone was confused and chose the chieftain, took the tribe's name, and lived like this until now. What does our tribe rely on for survival? Why haven't anyone gone out hunting and planting? Fawn Lin asked in confusion. Ha! Huh. Do you need to hunt? The old man asked strangely. Don't you need it? Fawn Lin was stunned. Do you need it? The old man scratched his head, just before Fawn Lin planned to go berserk, he said. If you're hungry, let the stones and soil climb trees to pick fruits and eat. There are fruits everywhere in this forest, do you still use hunting? Fawn Lin continued to ask, do you not need to eat meat besides fruits? Eat it, why not eat it? The old man was invigorated when he heard meat, with a smile, he said, when Stone and his team go into the forest to pick up fruits, they often find the bodies of wild animals, some of which are only half cut, that was left over from being eaten by other wild beasts. Some of the beasts were very foolish and ran to hit trees. We also brought it back to kill and eat, but unfortunately there were too few Fong Lin was completely speechless and gave the old man a thumbs up, amazing, you can rely on the heavens to eat. After a round trip, Fong Lin counted and found that the entire tribe now has ten children, ten adult men, ten adult women, eight elderly people, and Fong Lin himself is thirty-nine people. There are also three wooden spears, four rotten baskets, and twelve thatched cottages, with no other property. This is the current situation of the entire high dot altitude tribe. No production tools, no population, no weapons, no external channels, no cultivation and breeding. There is nothing, nothing but poverty. Although Fong Lin knew that the entire wasteland was now ruled by a coalition of demon and witch tribes, the human race relies on the witch race for survival due to having a little Pangu bloodline, but it's not so bad, is it? Fon Lin is currently suffering from a severe headache. Despite facing numerous difficulties, Fon Lin never gave up on the idea of this tribe, he knew that the human race would rise in the future. If it could develop, who would say that the Gaoshan tribe would be worse than the Huangdi tribe? Because the tribe relies on the heavens for food, no one in the entire tribe knows survival skills. Those who climb trees and pick fruits are not considered skills, they can only be considered instincts. The Sodot called survival skills refer to the ability to transform and create existing natural objects, beasts that are killed by themselves are considered hunting skills, and those that are picked up can only be considered instincts, after drying the animal skin, it needs to be modified to fit and become a tailor, rather than being casually worn on the body. Obviously, no one in this tribe knows, except for Fong Lin himself. After thinking about it for a while, Fong Lin finally had some confidence in his heart. It's too dangerous outside now. It's just a good time to develop the tribe. When the tribe becomes stronger, it will be easier to handle things. After returning to his thatched cottage, Fong Lin sat cross-legged. Immediately, he took out a copy of the Huangting Neijing Jing from the purple gourd he carried with him and started reading it. Speaking of which, Fong Lin himself had a chance encounter. At the age of ten, he was discovered by passing immortals with good qualifications and immediately took him as a boy by his side, it's been ten years since I left, leaving only a messenger paper crane to let go if something happens. A while ago, I received a letter from the tribe saying that the chieftain was no longer capable and asked him to come back to lead the entire tribe. Originally, Fong Lin did not want to come back, but the immortal said that fate had come to an end and left him with this Huangting Neijing Jing, which he would recite at least twenty times a day. We cannot stop short for a day. This Huangting Neijing Jing is also magical. After reading it every time, Fong Lin feels like a refreshing rain entering his body, and his physical fitness has slightly improved, after reading it twenty times a day, I suddenly feel refreshed and full of blood and marrow, giving me a feeling of ethereal feeling, as if reading it again can make me sore, but after reading it more than twenty times, reading it again will have no effect. Hmm. What's the situation? After reading twenty times, there's no effect anymore. How do you feel like you can continue reading today? Fong Lin was puzzled at this moment. Is it related to me inheriting this tribal chieftain? 
Fan Lin tried to continue reading and found that after reading it five more times, he felt very happy in his heart. The immortal who gave him the scripture had instructed him to recite it ten thousand times a day without interruption. Now that he can read it five more times a day, the time will greatly accelerate. If it's really related to me inheriting this tribe, then I can't give up at will, Fang Lin muttered to himself in his heart. With a long sigh of satisfaction, Fang Lin withdrew the Huangting Neijing Jing, stepping out of the thatched cottage, it was almost two hours since the sun had passed. It is truly the Huangting Neijing Jing, and every time I finish reading it, I feel as if I have seen the truth. Fang Lin exclaimed in his heart. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. Iron-backed Centipede. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Well, it's time to deal with the tribe's affairs, Fang Lin pondered for a moment, seeing the entire tribe being lazy, neither farming nor hunting, it's only a matter of time before they finish playing. It's okay to finish playing. If it's really related to the Huangting Neijing Jing, giving up this tribe would be more than worth the loss. If this continues, they will eventually be eliminated. Communication is the key to progress, but we need to teach them these survival skills first. Fan Lin shouted and gathered everyone together. In the future, it is absolutely impossible to rely on the heavens for a living. Now that I am the tribal chieftain, I teach everyone how to hunt, cultivate and make clothes. This will make our tribe stronger. 2. Lead them 9 to find a flat land, clean up all the weeds and trees on it, and I want to tidy up a piece of farmland. Fan Lin asked the remaining women to find vines, weave wicker baskets, and then dig out the animal skins they had collected before, teaching them how to simply sew clothes, instead of just looking for a piece of animal skin to wrap around like now. The elderly took their children to search for seeds and dig for wild vegetables, and suddenly the entire tribe began to be busy. This is a promising tribe, said Fang Lin, nodding in satisfaction as he stood at a high place three days past like this. The people who were tidying up the farmland had already cleared out about ten acres of farmland. They piled up weeds together, but didn't know what to do next. At this moment, Stone ran up to Fang Lin with a worried expression and said, Chief, we don't know how to ignite the fire. The old flame has been extinguished. Fang Lin Chi said, Can't you drill into wood to start a fire? What is drilling wood for fire? Fang Lin patted his forehead and said, Take a wooden stick. Fire, you see, we really got the fire. Chief Fang Lin, Chief Fang Lin. Everyone started shouting at Fang Lin when they saw the stone that had successfully ignited the fire. Although Fang Lin can use magic to make fire, he cannot be a tribal chieftain for the rest of his life. For skills like this, Fang Lin will try his best to teach them to the tribal people. After dealing with the miscellaneous trees and weeds, a new problem has arisen. There are no farming tools available. Although Fang Lin can still use spells to deal with it, it is not his own responsibility. Fang Lin looked at the three high mountains surrounding the tribe, pondering whether there were any mines in the mountains, as soon as he thought of it, Fang Lin Xuan cut several large trees into wooden spears and gave them to the men who looked quite robust, I asked the women to bring a few rotten baskets and asked them to carry them on their backs, then led them towards the mountain. Along the way, he cut and killed, but he made a way up the mountain and also killed two wild boars, cheering the people who followed happily. However, hunting is not Fang Lin's goal. His current strength is not enough to move mountains and stones, and the barren mountains are different from ordinary mountains. So I want to look for minerals, take a look at the nearby terrain, find a way to connect with the outside world, and see if there are any other tribes nearby. This is the main purpose of Fang Lin going up the mountain. Along the way, Fang Lin carefully examined and suddenly discovered a huge stone wall ahead, which seemed to be a stone pier magnified hundreds of times, there are countless fist-sized holes on the upright hole surface, and the holes are clearly interconnected, with strong winds blowing and whistling sounds. 
Fong Lin was overjoyed at the sight and found it effortless. Fong Lin took out a piece of flint from the gourd, which can be seen everywhere in the wasteland and is generally used for lighting and heating. Placed under a hole in the stone wall, after a while, a thousand-legged centipede with arms thick swam out of the hole. Fong Lin laughed heartily. This kind of centipede is called the iron-backed centipede, which is a wild and exotic species. It is good at digging holes and is naturally fed on minerals. Its body can secrete a special corrosive acid, which can corrode impurities completely when covered with ore. Part of the remaining metal essence is digested, and the surplus is condensed on the shell. Over time, it becomes a metal shell with extremely strong defense. The only attack method is acid, while the thousand feet are only used for digging holes and escaping. Fong Lin placed the remaining flint on an open space and then asked everyone to stay away. After a while, more than ten iron-backed centipedes emerged from the stone wall, hissing and swimming towards the flint. One of the leading ones had a large bull mouth that was one zhang long, and the thousand feet that passed through the ground surprisingly scraped the mark smooth and sharp. There are four symmetrical protrusions on both sides of the back of the body, when this iron-backed centipede saw Fong Linton, it screamed loudly and jumped into the air with a bow, with a thousand feet spread out, the body arched into a circle, as if a shield embedded with countless blades flew into the air, spinning and killing Fong Lin. Fong Lin was taken aback and said, Wow, I'm about to give birth to wings and evolve into a flying centipede. I should be the leader of the centipede here, and I can't underestimate him. Fong Lin dared not neglect and took out a previously refined treasure sword from the purple gourd, seizing the opportunity to erect the sword. Suddenly, the blade gap of the round shield was stuck, and the two clashed with a sound of gold and iron. Taking advantage of the situation, he twisted and shaved off more than ten of the centipede's thousand feet. After all, it's not yet a flying centipede. If you don't become a demon, you're just a mortal. Still fragile in front of spiritual tools for cultivation. If this centipede evolves into a flying centipede, it will not only have amazing strength, but also be able to fly. The key is to cultivate an inner pill, which has extremely strong attack power. At least it is in the realm of refining the spirit to return to the void, which cannot be resisted by the current Fonglin. The centipede leader let out a long scream of pain and opened his mouth suddenly, but sprayed a ball of green and foul-smelling acid on Fong Lin. Fong Lin smiled and said, How could you not prevent your spitting? Zhen Yuan injected into the white crane Taoist robe, and a thin layer of Zhen Yuan shield immediately appeared, blocking the acid from falling to the ground and splashing white smoke, corroding small holes. The leader of the centipede saw that his skills were useless and let out a long hiss. The centipedes were swimming towards the flint, upon hearing this, they immediately changed direction and bounced towards Fong Lin, but the centipede leader arched his body in an attempt to escape. How could you have run away? If it had been a demon, it wouldn't have been me. Fong Lin burst out laughing and threw his knife fiercely, hitting the head of the centipede. Nail it to the ground and shake its body violently. Take off the purple gourd again, tap the bottom, and pour a little real element. Suddenly, a stream of three flavors of real fire spurts out. The tongue of fire engulfed the centipedes, only to hear a constant hissing sound. The aroma of grilled meat spread out, and in a blink of an eye, all the centipedes rolled up into a black mass and fell to the ground. Fong Lin put away the gourd and picked up a piece of something that was cooked over three flavors of real fire. Carefully tap for a moment, and your face will show a happy expression. This is a complete iron block. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3 Fushi Tribe. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ha, huh, I have the iron blocks. These iron ores can be used with just a little hammering and forging, which can save a lot of effort. As for sharp tools and other things, Fong Lin smiled and looked at the centipede leader who was still wriggling. Isn't that a thousand feet? 
Although each handle is only two fingers wide, it is sharp enough to be fitted with some wooden handles for fine farming work. Perhaps sensing Fong Lin's ill intentions, the centipede leader twisted his body frantically, wrapped himself around the sword, wanting to pull it out and escape, but it caused a huge wound to tear at the point where the sword hit, and black blood sprayed out. How can you escape? Fong Lin pointed to the centipede leader and smiled. He took out the purple gourd again and wanted to burn the centipede to death with Samadhi true fire. The centipede just watched as the Samadhi fire burned its people to death, and now it saw that Fong Lin wanted to use this to deal with it. It was scared and screamed uncontrollably. Release the sword, endure the pain, bow up and face Fong Lin, nodding repeatedly. Two small eyes showed a pleading for mercy. Oh, you've already teleported. Do you want me to let you go? The centipede quickly nodded. Surrender to me, enter my purple gourd, and spare your life. The centipede hesitated for a moment, Fong Lin put on a posture of using gourds again, and immediately scared the centipede into nodding repeatedly. Fong Lin was delighted to have collected the centipede, which contained enough spiritual energy to prevent it from starving to death, and this also helped it evolve into a demon. Entering his purple gourd, life and death are in Fong Lin's hands. Although Fong Lin cannot control the centipede with the blood pact now, he will not let it come out again, after all, it will be difficult to retrieve it if it escapes. Fortunately, this mountain is very large, with more than a dozen centipedes. Fong Lin used the same method to kill another dozen, so he stopped. It's not enough, but to keep the centipede seeds and harvest them later, which is called long.term benefits. With a large number of good tools, the middle forest has solved some complex problems, and now the development of the tribe has accelerated a lot. On that day, Fong Lin was reciting scriptures inside the house when suddenly two walked over, report to Fong Lin, chief, it's still six months until the day of offering sacrifices to the witches. We need to be prepared. Fong Lin asked in confusion, to worship the witch race. What do we need to worship? Tu Hui replied, usually, there are two pairs of boys who will be sent to the Fong Ho tribe as servants. There are also some fruits and meat, so we need to prepare in advance. After hearing this, Fong Lin's expression was uncertain and he said, it was only then that he said he wanted to strengthen the tribe. Every year, four people are worshipped, so I can't help but grow. After pondering for a long time, he said to the earth, I understand this matter and I will solve it. You don't have to worry. Two months later. With a burst of cheers, the forest was opened up on a straight path and finally had a way to communicate with the outside world. In the vast world, there are six innate saints, for the saints of Taiching, Taishang Lao Jun, Yuqing, Yuan Shi Tianzuan, Shangqing, Tong Tian, Nuwa, the demon race, Zhuandi Daoist, Western Bodhi, an ancestor of 10,000 Buddhas. But at this time, heaven and earth have just opened up and have not yet experienced tribulations. Pangu's polluted blood has flowed into the human world, generating countless demons and monsters, each with their own dependents, Emperor Jun, the Eastern Emperor is in charge of the heavenly court, and the demon race is the god. The demon race dominates the world, and its momentum is unstoppable and numerous. The twelve ancestral witches generated by Pangu's essence and blood gathered countless members of the witch tribe to form twelve major tribes, joining together, mastering the laws and regulations on the ground, opposing the demon race, the two have equal strength, and the world can be balanced. Although the human race was born of the goddess N. Yuwa, the sage of the demon race, they were weak and had suffered from the oppression of the demon race due to their Pangu essence and blood. Therefore, they attached themselves to the hands of the witch race. The dragon race is a demon, and both the grass and wood elves are demon races. Under the nine secluded realms, there is a hell where the ghost tribe guards the six cycles of reincarnation. Beside the hell, there is a Shura realm, where the male members are ugly, while the female members are beautiful celestial beings, the leader of the Shura realm, the Styx River ancestor, was transformed by a pool of filthy blood at the beginning of the universe. He has the power of a quasi-leader, 
and his Yuan Tu and Abai swords are innate weapons, no less than the Zhu Xian for swords in the hands of the Tong Tian sect leader, there are also treasures such as the twelve rank fire and red lotus in hand, and apart from a few people in the world, no one can match them, because all the martial arts created are sinister supernatural powers such as plundering souls. They have always been in opposition to the Ghost Clan. The Ghost Clan was defeated and defected to the Heavenly Court Demon Clan, so the Heavenly Court sent troops, but the Shura tribe was defeated, so they defected to the Witch tribe and regained balance. Among the twelve ancestors of the Wu tribe, the Emperor River has the fastest speed in the world, patrolling the floods and wastelands, Xianming is the master of killing luck, in charge of killing, and in charge of the operation of the five elements of Gomang, Zhushou, Zhurong, Donggang, and Hutuzhang, the five individuals of Qiangliang, Berjuyan, Tianwu, Shizi, and Shebi Shi are anti-five elements and possess the five poisons, each performing their respective duties. On the wasteland, there are now no cities, only gathering places formed by tribes. The strength of the witch tribe is unparalleled, and apart from the demon tribe, no one can compete, but there is no need for city walls to protect them, moreover, if one day the witch clan is defeated, this city wall may not be able to protect attacks from heaven and earth, so it's better not to have it. At this time, the high mountain tribe was connected to the outside world, but the natural advantages of that place were revealed. Surrounded by mountains on three sides, a natural giant city surrounded the tribe, and there were no large beasts threatening humans in the forest on the mountain therefore, the tribe developed rapidly, building stone houses, using copper and iron tools, planting vegetables, yellow millet, and other crops. They also cultivated a piece of land and raised herbivorous animals such as wild boars and rabbits in an orderly and prosperous manner. At this point, Fan Lin was able to recite this scripture thirty times a day, and he became more and more convinced that it was linked to the tribal chi. Fortunately, I didn't run away at the time, otherwise where would I have discovered this? Fan Lin felt secretly proud in his heart. The issue of population is even more obvious. Fang Lin came out this time to see if there is a way to increase the population, in the current world of famine, the human race is weak and small. We can find ways to merge some small tribes. And Fang Lin is about to pass the 19 heavenly calamities now. He needs to find some treasures and techniques, otherwise he is not prepared for anything. How can he deal with Thunderbolt? The Huangting Neijing Jing he is currently practicing is just a mental technique, without any attack or defense methods, only the few treasures gifted by the immortal when he left. Not even a treasure, it can only be said to be useful for his realm. Among our human race, there are three emperors. Based on time, it should be the era of the first emperor, Emperor Fushi, I just don't know if the Fushi tribe has already taken over the dominant position. If not, there may be some benefits after coming out, Fang Lin realized that outside the forest was the place designated by the witch tribe for the human tribe to live. Tens of thousands of human tribes, big and small, are scattered throughout this area, to do things that do not require much magical power, such as planting crops, hunting and chopping firewood for the Wu tribe, after all, the current human tribe is too weak and lacks even the ability to become immortal. This makes it convenient for Fang Lin to search for the Fushi tribe. The vast sky is not something that can be easily explored. The demon tribe is not satisfied with it, and it is possible that suddenly a demon god will strike a divine thunder from the sky, shattering your bones. Although the human race is dependent on the witch race, the witch race is not a good commodity, and it is also possible to beat you down for barbecue. The witch and demon races may eat people. Fang Lin rode a white crane flying in the sky of the human race, his Taoist robe fluttering, his waist hanging a purple golden gourd, and his back carrying a seven-star sword. He looked like a figure among immortals no matter what. Every time he went down to the tribe to ask for directions, he was worshipped as a deity by the tribe. The harmed Fang Lin repeatedly fled into the wilderness. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4 
Fushi. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Finally, we finally found the Fushi tribe. Looking down from the sky, this Fushi tribe is so large, at least a hundred times the size of the Gaoshan tribe, with a lot of people coming and going, and it is bustling. It's indeed not a mistake, truly the first emperor of the future, Fong Lin exclaimed, patting the white crane. The white crane understood and let out a long cry as it slowly descended. The arrival of Fong Lin caused a sensation, and people thought it was a fairy coming, so they immediately crowded up to greet Fong Lin. Fong Lin had already experienced such scenes and laughed on the spot, saying, I'm so enthusiastic, but I'm not a fairy. What's the point of the distinguished guest coming here? At this moment, a muscular-looking man walked over and saluted, asking Fong Lin. Fong Lin smiled calmly and said, My name is Fong Lin, and I am the chieftain of the High Mountain Tribe. I have something to discuss with Chief Fushi. Can I go see Chief Fushi? Oh! Chief of the High Mountain Tribe. My name is Mu, please come with me, Chief of the High Mountain Tribe. Mu was surprised and didn't expect that the one who came down from the sky was actually the chief of the human tribe. During the conversation, Mu took Fang Lin to the side of Fu Shi. Fu Shi had long hair draped over his shoulders, a human head in a snake body, and a pair of hands. He was skilled in fishing, hunting, and animal husbandry, seemingly a demon but actually a human. Fu Shi was the first woman created by Empress Dowager Nyu Hua from Earth. Her image was similar to that of N. Yu Hua, who bestowed humanity upon her. After the creation of the human race, for some reason, N. Yu Hua no longer cared about the human race, therefore, when the human race was in chaos, Fushi came out to stop and led some people to learn from the witch race and establish a tribe. Others saw the effect and also learned from Fushi's methods, which is the source of the human tribe. Fushi has not yet invented the innate eight trigrams, and his reputation is insufficient. He has not yet been recognized as a co-ruler by the human tribe. The chieftain of the Gaoshan tribe, Fang Lin, has met the chieftain of Fushi. Fang Lin respectfully bowed to Fushi. In Fang Lin's eyes, Fushi was at least several levels higher than him, perhaps already a realm of refining the void and harmony Dao. Chief Fang Lin doesn't need much courtesy, please rise up. Fushi looked at Fang Lin curiously. I don't know what Chief Fang Lin came for, but it doesn't matter, said Fushi politely. To be honest with the chieftain, our Gaoshan tribe came to form an alliance with the Fushi tribe. Fang Lin explained to Fushi the location of the Gaoshan tribe. Upon hearing this, Fushi pondered for a moment and said strangely, My Fushi tribe is not the largest tribe either, and it is very far from your tribe. Why does Chief Fang Lin seek distance over proximity? Why? Do you still need to say it? Who doesn't know the name of Fushi? The head of the three emperors, it's just that Fang Lin can't explain it clearly now. Even if he said it, Fushi wouldn't believe it. He just thought you were talking nonsense. Fang Lin then smiled and said, Only the people of the Fushi tribe can live and work in peace and contentment, work diligently and know how to make nets, fish, animal husbandry, and cultivate. They also have the tribal mentality of combining heaven and humanity, so they came to form an alliance. Upon hearing this, Fushi nodded to express his joy, but remained silent. Upon seeing it, Fang Lin quickly silently recited the Huangting Neijing Jing in his heart, suddenly, the inner beauty appeared, and there seemed to be divine light washing through the body, exuding a ethereal and immortal demeanor. Upon seeing this, Fushi burst into laughter and said, All right, Chief Fang Lin is so interested in my Fushi tribe. Fushi is very happy in his heart. Let us form an alliance. Additionally, this is our tribe's mental technique, and the chief can take it back for the tribe's people to learn. Fang Lin took the mental technique from Fushi's hand, and upon seeing it, he saw that it was the Fushi Yuanyang Sutra, but it only had human cultivation techniques, and there was no method for cultivating immortals on it. Fang Lin was overjoyed. With this tribal mental technique, the people of the tribe can learn the art of cultivation and become stronger. 
Only in this way can they survive and even grow in the future. He has a little more confidence in overcoming the 19-day calamity. Fang Lin felt proud in his heart that the Huangting Neijing Jing was indeed a bug, and for some reason, practicing it could greatly increase others' favorability towards him. After Fang Lin came out of the High Mountain tribe, he discovered this matter, which made him repeatedly satisfied Fuxi pulled Fang Lin and said sincerely, since our tribe has formed an alliance, we need to communicate with each other. If there are any difficulties for the Gaoshan tribe, you can speak up. Fuxi tribe will definitely do everything in their power to help. Fang Lin sighed and said, with the mental technique gifted by Chief Fuxi, there are no difficulties at the moment. But as you know, the power of the witch clan is strong now, and our human race is weak. Except for the annual worship, everything else is fine. There is no other way now, we can only act according to the situation. Fushi nodded and said, as a cultivator of immortality, you are naturally proficient in survival skills and a good choice for the chieftain. You can also develop a dying tribe into vitality in just two to three months, demonstrating your extraordinary abilities and a compassionate heart. How can I bear to let your hard work be wasted by others? I will teach you the way to cultivate immortality, the wood thunder technique. Even if your tribe encounters problems in the future, you can find a place to cultivate flying immortals, establish a sect, and reorganize your tribe after speaking, Fu Shi pressed his finger on Fang Lin's Yin Tang acupoint, and Fang Lin felt a moment of confusion, it seems like seeing countless tadpole talismans, forming mysterious patterns that disappear from the center of the eyebrows, echoing with the true spirit, and finally merging into one, which is extremely magical. Fu Shi withdrew his finger, and Fang Lin calmed down. He carefully pondered the process and was overjoyed. He bowed to Fushi and said, Thank you, chief. If you achieve something in the future, I will be extremely grateful. Fushi laughed heartily, waved his hand, and without saying much, let Fang Lin leave. Fang Lin walked out of the gate of the Fushi tribe and looked back, truly deserving of being the first emperor of our human race, with an open mind that left one speechless. At this moment, Fang Lin suddenly had a sudden impulse in his heart. Hmm. In six hours, the apocalypse is coming. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5 19 Heavenly Calamities. You are listening at novelfull.audio. There are still six hours left before the heavenly calamity, so it's not urgent. On Fang Lin's way here, he also encountered many small tribes that were on the verge of extinction, now forming an alliance with the Fushi tribe, he plans to merge those tribes and quickly strengthen the Gaoshan tribe. After all, if he doesn't do it, those tribes will either be attacked and destroyed by wild beasts or fall into the hands of the witches. So he walked and stopped all the way, spending nearly half of the time to gather those tribes. The group consisted of about two to three hundred people, and Fang Lin exchanged another batch of supplies before heading to the high mountain tribe. After spending about an hour, when they arrived at the place, the people blurted out their praises and said, a good place, a natural barrier, with one person guarding the pass and ten thousand people taking care of the terrain. Thank you very much to the high.altitude chieftain for taking them in. Fang Lin laughed heartily and said, We are all human beings, how can we not save ourselves from death? Fang Lin called for the stone and arranged, Take these two hundred new people to build houses, and arrange for them to rest first. Also, you need to keep these supplies that you have brought back for me. Yes, chief, the stone nodded directly in response. You come with me. 2. Take people to move these supplies to the storage cave. Stone turned around and looked at those people. At this moment, Fan Lin walked up to an old man from a former high-altitude tribe and said, Fire, our tribe has formed an alliance with the Fushi tribe outside. Their chief Fushi has gifted us with their tribe's mental skills, now I will entrust you with the custody of this mind technique, and let all the people who can cultivate in the tribe practice it in the future, do you know upon hearing this, who burst into tears and said, Chief, 
I see hope for the rise of our tribe. Don't worry, I will definitely use my life to protect this mental technique. Upon hearing this, Fong Lin smiled and shook his head. After arranging everything, Fong Lin himself rode on the white crane and flew away leisurely, without anyone knowing where he was going. Practicing the four realms of qi involves refining the essence and transforming qi, refining the spirit, refining the spirit and returning to the void, and ultimately refining the void and merging the Tao. Fong Lin had already suspected that Fuxi had reached the path of refining the void and merging, and was only one step away from crossing the tribulation to become an immortal. Every level of cultivation requires one level of heavenly calamity, known as the 49th heavenly calamity. Each level is heavier than the previous level, and it is a combination of earth, water, fire, and wind. They complement each other and transform into infinite power. Once passed, their realm improves, but they cannot withstand it. Death As it turned dark, the son of Emperor Taiyi, who was in charge of the sun today, set the sun on time, the moon rises, and you can vaguely see the cold moon palace, but there is no Chang'e inside. Now Chang'e is the wife of a descendant of the Great Witch. At the end of the Yushu period, it was the peak time for the accumulation of golden energy, in the high sky, directly above Fonglin, a golden cloud was churning, and from a distance, it appeared to be the size of an acre. It seems that this 19-day calamity is the Tai Xian Golden Blade Thunder Calamity. The golden radiance, however peculiar, did not illuminate other places. All the radiance enveloped the square forest, with nowhere to hide in the boundless light. The heavenly robbery cannot be seen by people outside until a certain distance is reached. Instead, thunder roared, from low to high, to the final roar. The heavens and earth seemed to tremble, seeking redemption under the light, and lightning began to ravage the sky, sweeping away all the demons that dared to appear in the sky. Then Jin Yun began to change again, and countless palm-sized fish scales and flakes of gold appeared, thin as cicada wings, extremely sharp, overlapping and rotating in the sky, the golden light flickered and cut black cracks in the sky, which were extremely prominent in the light. Turning to the separation of the golden scales, a huge golden sword appeared in the middle, hanging horizontally in the air. The back of the sword held nine golden rings, exuding an extraordinary aura. Fong Lin stared blankly and said, Damn it, it's just a nineteen-day calamity. What are you doing with such a powerful aura? If you have the ability, give it a try. I haven't done anything outrageous. If the golden sword and scales really fall, Fong Lin guarantees not even a chance to resist, the complete version of this Tai Xian Golden Blade Thunder robbery only appears in the Four or Nine Heavenly Robbery. The only thing that can fall now is the sword energy of the Tai Xian Golden Blade. The Heavenly Calamity has begun, and Fong Lin spoke lightly. Now he hurriedly holds the previously refined Seven Star Sword in his hand, storing his energy for future use, the Tai Xian Golden Blade swayed lightly, and suddenly a golden sword aura appeared, slashing down at the speed of lightning. Up, A belongs to Yang, B belongs to Yin, look at me, Emu Shenlei. Fong Lin shouted loudly, shook his seven star sword in his hand, pointed it towards the sky, and emitted a blue Shenlei. He met him, and the golden sword met the Emu Shenlei, making a muffled sound and disappearing together. Huh, I knew the thunder was loud and the raindrops were small, it was scary. Fong Lin's spirit shook and he laughed heartily, and the first sword aura easily dissipated. The golden sword in the sky shook again, and the sword aura that appeared was much stronger than the first one. Fong Lin was tense and fired two consecutive Emu Divine Thunder to eliminate it. There were three attacks in the nineteen heavenly robbery, but they were all golden knives. Their power only grew stronger each time. In the four or nine heavenly robbery, there were nine attacks, each of which was a combination of thunder, earth fire, golden knives, and strong winds, making it extremely difficult to stop. The third golden sword waited for a while before falling, and Fong Lin blocked it with three rounds of emu divine thunder and a blue jade hairpin to protect his body. Nineteen days of calamity is still relatively simple. 
the golden scales of the sky slowly spread and disappeared into the void. The sky dimmed, with only the moon hanging high. Finally, we have passed the nineteen heavenly calamities, ha <laughs> ha. At this point, Fong Lin's realm had already broken through to the realm of practicing Qi Qi God. Next time, it will be the 29 heavenly calamities, with a total of 6 attacks, but it's not as simple as that. After overcoming the heavenly catastrophe, one can continue to practice and increase their realm through cultivation. After overcoming the catastrophe, the true element recovers much faster, and the body becomes much stronger after being washed away by the heavenly catastrophe. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6. Lost Treasure Money. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After crossing the tribulation, it feels different. The realm has increased and the spells have been learned. It seems that all the problems have been solved, so there is only one tribe problem left. Horde, hee hee. Fong Lin smiled playfully and flipped through his hand, taking out a square whole coin, rolling and playing with it. This is something that Fong Lin encountered on his way back to the tribe. It is a treasure and money, and the spiritual object is hidden from him. Fong Lin has never shown it to anyone before. Now that we have overcome the nineteen heavenly calamities, with the power of magic, we can refine spiritual treasures into our bodies and turn them into our own spiritual treasures. Speaking of the vast world, there are three exotic treasures that can be found in humans and treasures, they are respectively the holy artifact of merit, the diamond bracelet in the hand of the Supreme Lord, the five-colored divine light inherent in Kong Xian's nature, and the lost treasure money in the hand of Fong Lin. According to legend, Luo Bao Qian is the first coin in the wilderness, so there are significant restrictions on its use. Treasures in the opponent's hand cannot be dropped without leaving their hands, weapons cannot be dropped, and those with a cultivation level above the golden immortal cannot be dropped. This greatly reduces the role of money in losing treasures. Those who know this treasure are not interested, while those who are interested do not know the whereabouts of this treasure. At least it belongs to the innate spiritual treasure, and it was so cheap that it fell into the hands of Fong Lin. With the infiltration of Fong Lin's magic, a rainbow-like light enveloped the falling treasure money, as if there was fairy music fluttering. The originally square whole copper coin style, golden falling treasure money, slowly grew a pair of white wings in the colorful light, lifelike and extremely cute. Fong Lin bit through his fingertips and dripped a drop of fingertip blood onto the Luo Bao money. The colorful light slowly disappeared, and the Luo Bao money also restrained its wings, turning into a yellow light that disappeared into Fong Lin's body. Based on Fong Lin's cultivation at this time, as long as it is not a treasure that can be cultivated above the level of a fallen immortal, it can basically be dropped, but it is already sufficient. After refining the lost treasure money, Fang Lin slowly crossed his knees and meditated for three days before finally recovering to his peak state. At this moment, the sky was already clear, and Fang Lin summoned the white crane true spirit on his Taoist robe to ride down the mountain. I don't know how the tribe is doing now, Fang Lin thought with a hint of amusement. Although Fang Lin had been prepared for a long time, he was still stunned. Previously, there were only about ten rooms and forty people, but unexpectedly, there were nearly 500 more rooms overnight. He originally only brought back around 200 people, but now there are nearly a thousand people. Previously, the flat land was only two or three acres at most, but now it appears that there are at least nearly a hundred acres. Fong Lin searched for the figure of two in the air and finally found him at the entrance of the storage room. Fong Lin patted the back of the white crane, and it understood. The white crane suddenly spread its wings and slapped wildly a few times. Suddenly, a strong wind blew everywhere, flying sand and rocks. The people on the ground were blown upside down, initially thinking it was a demon tribe attacking, but then everyone realized it was actually Fong Lin. It's the chieftain, he's back. The people on the ground were cheering. 
Fong Lin gestured for the white crane to fall and waved his hand, indicating that everyone did not need to be polite. Everyone can do whatever they want, there's no need to surround themselves here. Fong Lin smiled and put away the white crane, lightly landing on the ground. He pulled up the soil that seemed to be blown to his eyes by sand and said, What's going on? Why are there so many more people overnight? Rubbing his eyes, he waved to let the people leave and made room for the two to talk. Upon seeing this, Fong Lin narrowed his eyes slightly and immediately restrained his expression, silently watching the performance of the earth. Tu Xiao said, The reputation of our tribe has already spread since you left, chief. This time when you come back, you have brought back a large number of tribe members, and even the cultivation techniques of the tribe. Therefore, those small tribes around that cannot afford to be worshipped have voluntarily merged. Since that's the case, let them stay in the forest hunting or build grass houses on the slopes. Otherwise, the indigenous people of my high mountain tribe and the group of people I brought back will have nowhere to go. Fon Lin inexplicably smiled and spoke up. Upon hearing this, two remained silent. At this moment, a new person standing not far from you spoke up and said, Those people in your tribe before were all pale and skinny. Why don't you give up? And since you haven't been here for a long time, why don't you give up and become two as the chieftain? At this moment, all the sounds around suddenly quieted down. After hearing the words, two suddenly rebuked, Get out of my way. I am also a member of the original Gaoshan tribe. Are you asking me to give up on myself? After pondering for a long time, Fang Lin smiled at Tu and said, Tu, you have made a name for yourself. Is this your true idea? Tu smiled awkwardly and said, Ha! How could it be? It's just a joke, the chief doesn't need to take it seriously. Oh! So that means we're all working together, learning the mental techniques I brought back, and planning to start a new stove. Since that's the case, then you guys go and leave here. Fong Lin knew they couldn't leave this feng shui treasure land and deliberately spoke up. Tu didn't answer, and another person next to him said, Chief, why do you need to be like this? Anyway, you haven't been in the tribe for a long time, and Tu is in charge of all the big and small things. After you abdicate and give way to the wise, you can pursue your path to longevity. Isn't this a win.win -win situation? Fong Lin looked at Tu without saying a word, obviously this was his inner thoughts. Although Fong Lin was already prepared in his heart, he couldn't help but feel a bit cold-headed. He sneered and said, I have raised a white-eyed wolf for love. With a clanging sound, a person next to Tu suddenly pulled out an iron knife, which was clearly prepared by Tu for them. This triggered a chain reaction, and in an instant, everyone around him took out their weapons, reflecting a cold light. Fong Lin sneered and slowly pulled out his seven-star sword, saying to the earth, Is it useful if there are many people? What else do you need to cultivate? What do you need magic treasures to do? For the sake of the people, I'll give you one last chance, either leave or die. Tu waved his hand and said, Chief, we are not your opponents, but with so many people here, we can burn jade and stone with you, and even the end of the year which clan. Fong Lin didn't wait for him to finish speaking before he hit the earth with a bolt of emu divine thunder. Seeing this, Tu couldn't help but be shocked and dodged to one side in embarrassment. Why can't we negotiate with so many people? Fong Lin sneered and said, when will the sheep have room to negotiate with the lion? If it weren't for waiting for you guys to jump out, do you think you could live to this day? Wait, chief, behind our backs. After speaking, without waiting for Tu to continue speaking, Fong Lin controlled the seven-star sword and directly swept it across. He saw a cold light shining, as fast as lightning, instantly making everyone around Tu account. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. Stealing a chicken does not become eating rice. You are listening at novel full.audio. Huh, good swords, good skills. 
A figure stood behind Tu, applauding with both hands as he spoke. Chief Gao Shan, I am the young leader of the Changha tribe. Our tribe's strength is not inferior to that of the Fushi tribe. Are you interested in forming an alliance? Upon hearing this, Fang Lin quickly called out the prepared white crane, took a step forward, and rose into the air. Joke, not inferior to the Fushi tribe in terms of strength. Can you compare yourself to my Gaoshan tribe? What conditions do you have? Tell me. The high mountain chief speaks quickly, so I won't go into too much detail. As long as you donate the Fushi Yuanyang classic, how about it? Fang Lin sneered, young master Changha treats me like a three-year-old mischievous child. After a moment of silence, young master Changha looked at Fang Lin and suddenly burst into a wild laugh with an extremely bold attitude. I was originally well-intentioned and wanted to cooperate with you to save face for you. I never thought giving face would be shameless, so don't blame me for being ruthless, he said Fang Lin sneered and suddenly swept across, only hearing a few clanks. The nearest few people, along with their weapons in hand, were cut in half, blood spurting uncontrollably. The people on the side were gasping for air, involuntarily retreating. Taking a slanted glance at young Master Changha, Fang Lin shook his seven-star sword and shed the blood droplets on it. The sword still shone brightly. Do you think you are the only one in this world with treasures? Even small spiritual tools that are not in the mainstream can be brought out to the public. Let you see what true treasures are. The young master of Changha spoke coldly and took a step forward to praise Fang Lin, who was only half a meter away from him. Fang Lin glared angrily and swung a sword, slashing the neck of the young master of Changha horizontally. I don't know what it means. Young Master Changha laughed as a bright pearl emerged from above and hung from the sky, emitting a five-colored light that blocked the attack of the seven-star sword. Fang Lin was taken aback and swung his sword again, but it was still blocked. The five-colored light did not even shake. Why don't you give it a try? Young Master Changha smiled proudly, and their people burst into laughter when they saw it. Fang Lin thought for a moment and said, a replica of Dinghai Shenzhou. Young Master Changha was a bit surprised at the moment and said, Oh, how did you know? Not bad, this is a mountain and sea pearl. Fang Lin didn't answer and swung his sword repeatedly, thinking to himself, I never expected it to be a replica of the Dinghai God Pearl. Well, there are 20.4 Dinghai God Pearl, but he only has one. It should have been exchanged by their tribe from the witch clan, it's a pity. Young Master Changha didn't know what Fang Lin was thinking in his heart, he just watched as Fang Lin worked tirelessly. With a proud smile, he said, give up. Compared to these treasures, the distance between the earth and the sky is the cultivation of spiritual tools. As long as you surrender and offer the Fushi Yuanyang classic, I can let you go or even let you join our tribe. How about that? Fang Lin's mouth twitched, which was considered an answer. He untied the purple golden gourd, patted the bottom, and spewed out a cloud of samadhi true fire, burning towards the young master of Changha. The young master of Changha saw the great fire and was also somewhat afraid. He quickly shook the mountain and sea pearls, and the pearls began to spiral rapidly. The five colored pearls were shining brightly, and there was a faint sound of the surging sea coming out. The true fire of Samadhi burned in front of him, as if it had been extinguished by the flood, emitting black smoke that extinguished it. Fang Lin could only put away the purple golden gourd and waved a few more swords, but was still blocked. Young Master Changha became a little impatient and said, Don't expect to consume my true energy. With methods like yours, you can attack for three days and three nights without depleting your true energy. My patience is limited. Are you surrendering or will I kill you? Fang Lin spat and said, dreaming. He patted the white crane and prepared to fly away. The young master of Changha was furious and said, If you don't want to face me and still want to escape, then you should die for me. Shaking the mountain and sea pearls, they turned into a colorful light and fiercely smashed towards Fang Lin, before the treasure arrived, the momentum weighed down on people. 
The sound of roaring waves came, instantly giving people the illusion of being on the sea facing huge waves. Fong Lin stopped in his escape position, with a smile on his face and whispered, Fool, it's been a long time waiting for you. Suddenly, he released something. In the midst of a colorful light, a yellow light suddenly rushed in, and all five colors were lost. A mountain and sea pearl appeared, falling onto the ground. On top of the divine pearl was a copper coin with white light wings. The young master of Chang'e was stunned when he saw Shan Hezu being knocked down. He couldn't react immediately and shook it several times, but Shan Hezu remained motionless, after looking at the winged copper coin, I suddenly realized, what treasure is this? I can't control Shan Haizhu anymore. It's not good. Kill him quickly. The young master of Chang'e roared wildly, rushing towards the place where the mountain and sea pearls fell. Those subordinates woke up at night like a dream and rushed forward. Fong Lin laughed heartily, but did not go to get the mountain and sea pearl and the falling treasure money. With a wave of the seven star sword, he recited a spell and with a loud crack, a finger thick blue emu divine thunder fell from the sky, upon hitting the unsuspecting young master of Chang'e, he let out a scream and his entire body was scorched, emitting a nauseating smell of grilled meat. Immediately frightened and stunned the subordinates of the young master of Chang'e. Fang Lin just stepped forward and grabbed the Shan Hai Zhu and Luo Bao Qian, put them away, and stepped onto the prepared white crane. The subordinates of the Long River young master woke up from a dream, howling and rushing forward, all the bronze and iron weapons in their hands were thrown as hidden weapons towards Fang Lin, but they were just human tools. How could they harm the body of Bai He? Even if Fang Lin throws it onto the back of the white crane, his white crane Taoist robe can provide defense. Let me tell you, this matter is not over. Fang Lin rode a white crane and danced in the sky, alternating the use of Jemu Shenlei and Emu Shenlei, killing more than ten people. However, it was impossible to kill, so he had to leave a message and then leave. Taking a sneak glance at the sea god Pearl, Fang Lin smiled proudly. Ha ha, ha, a big harvest. I didn't expect to catch a real immortal magic weapon while fishing. This business is easy to do. Fang Lin Chang laughed loudly. Not to mention the death of the young master and the loss of treasures in the Chang'e tribe, they are currently mobilizing troops and generals, after using the money from Luo Bao to snatch the mountain and sea pearl of the young master of Chang'e, Fang Lin killed a few people and ran to the mountain. He fell off the stone wall of the iron-backed centipede and used a little blood essence to directly condense the mountain and sea pearl. It is worth mentioning that due to insufficient realm, these treasures have not been thoroughly refined and recognized as masters. Unlike innate spiritual treasures, if taken away, they can instantly erase the previous imprint and be used after being condensed. If it were for Fang Lin's drop treasure money, the innate spiritual treasure would not be stolen and refined like this. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Eliminating Grassroots and Roots. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Hmm. How do you feel that my fortune has decreased a lot? Fong Lin suddenly felt something was wrong. After careful consideration and examination, it was discovered that the use of drop treasure money also has limitations, which is to consume a certain amount of good luck. However, daily recitation of the Huangting Neijing Jing practiced by Fong Lin can supplement a certain amount of good fortune, and this matter is not a big problem. If Fong Lin had not practiced the Huangting Neijing Jing to supplement his fortune and used it without any restrictions, he would have been afraid of being struck by lightning when he walked after his fortune was depleted. Therefore, Fang Lin finally understood why those great beings could not appreciate this treasure. I'm afraid I'll soon end up in the same situation as Xiao Sheng. So Fang Lin rode on the white crane again and rushed down the mountain, starting to hunt down the subordinates of the young master of Chang'e. At this moment, the young master of Chang'e was killed, and those people seemed to have lost their leading sheep. Very chaotic. 
Seeing Fong Lin appear again, there was an uproar. Copper spears, iron swords, and wooden arrows were all aimed at Fong Lin. As long as he dared to descend to the ground, it would definitely be a combination of 10,000 soldiers and be chopped into meat sauce, although long dot range attacks are helpless for Fong Lin, in close combat, everyone is a cultivator with similar levels. Can Fong Lin really withstand the sea of people? Let me show you the feeling of the five thunders from the sky. Fong Lin chuckled and pulled out his seven-star sword from the white crane, reciting a spell. One finger at a time, the thick armor would divine thunder and the E would divine thunder chopped down, suddenly, chickens flew and dogs jumped, and screams of agony continued. With too many people, there was no place to dodge. One person was struck, and those in contact with him also suffered. The power of lightning dispersed, and not many people died, but most of them were electrocuted and emitted smoke. Throw away the metal weapon and shoot him with a wooden arrow. I can't shoot it, it's too far. Fong Lin burst out laughing from the sky and took a deep breath until he exhausted his true energy before leaving. If you don't leave, I'll come back tomorrow, Fong Lin said harshly as he left, making those people want to cry without tears. For six consecutive days, Fong Lin harassed him every day, and the rest of the time was spent practicing mental techniques and increasing the true element. He read the Huangting Neijing Jing 30 times a day, and with his advantage in cultivation speed, the true element showed signs of breaking through to practice Qi Qi Shen. It's been six days now, and if there's a helper, they should have arrived. The last attack, regardless of the outcome, will leave here. Although it's a pity to give up the entire tribe, there's no other way. The Changha tribe insists on wasting money with me, and I can't afford it either. Fong Lin pondered for a moment and made up his mind. The place of this high mountain tribe is so great, and their mental skills are in the hands of the fire. According to reason, they should have already obtained it. They haven't left yet, obviously intending to occupy it, but those indigenous people, let's talk about it later. If we can save it, we can save it. If we can't, we can only give up. Although giving up on qi cultivation speed will decrease and cause and effect will deepen, with the Huangting Neijing Jing available, we are not afraid. It's better to practice slowly. Having made up his mind, Fang Lin rode down the mountain on a white crane, but instead of attacking directly from the air as before, he landed in a remote mountain valley, close to the flat land of the high dot altitude tribe from the ground. He didn't believe that those people couldn't come up with a way to deal with airstrikes for six days. The entire high mountain tribe was lifeless and extremely oppressive, but there was a murderous aura pervading it. Under the silent listening, there was also a faint sound of the handover of gold and iron. Good guy, you're really prepared. Fong Lin was also a bit shocked and wandered outside the tribe for a long time. Anyway, if it's a big deal, hurry up and slip away. When we reach the Fushi tribe, I don't believe they dare to be so reckless. After thinking it over, Fang Lin immediately erupted, sacrificing mountain and sea pearls, circling defense above his head, pulling out his seven-star sword and charging towards the flat ground. As soon as he approached, he saw two emu divine thunder. Pai Li Pa. With a few screams, two more people died at the hands of Fang Lin. Fang Lin is here, come out and help quickly. Hula Hula, countless people and horses from the Long River tribe emerged from the entire flat land in an instant, densely packed and surrounding the square forest. Damn it, who was so powerful that they guessed I would attack from the ground? Fong Lin was greatly surprised, under the Seven Star Sword, he showed no mercy, slashing horizontally and vertically, stabbing front and back, carving out a path of blood and charging towards the center of the tribe. Along the way, the Seven Star Sword drank countless people's blood. A group of idiots, step back a bit. A thunderbolt shouted out of nowhere, and the killing in the town paused for a moment, even Fong Lin couldn't help but stop killing. Looking at a giant coming out of the grass hut in the center of the tribe, Fong Lin was surprised and said, the witch clan. Unexpectedly, the witches worshipped by the Changha tribe have all sent people over. 
The giant is three meters tall, with two curved horns on its head and a face like a cow. It has only one hand and one leg, and is wearing a coat made of striped tiger skin. Looking at Fong Lin, it glares at the cow, with a roar, the sky suddenly hummed and the echoes continued. Wu Min, Chi Ba, a member of the Chiyu tribe, came to take your dog's life and leave behind the mountain in sea pearls. Perhaps we can spare you once. Fong Lin was stunned and laughed heartily, the treasure I received, you want me to give it back. Being a witch can really determine life and death for you. I see your body is huge, isn't your brain even small? Chi Ba was furious and waved his hand, causing a loud rumble. Six large holes were dug out on the ground, surrounding Fong Lin in the middle. Each hole had thirty people, pushing a half wooden and half iron cart out, someone shook the wheel handle on the cart, and the panel was raised on one side, diagonally facing the sky. The panel was made of iron, drilled countless water snake-sized holes, densely arranged, looking terrifying. Many small holes appeared on the ground, with many people drilling out and surrounding Fong Lin. They were all holding strong bows, with arrows strung up and aimed at Fong Lin. Chi Ba laughed and said, your fate is good this time. You didn't come down from the sky, otherwise you would be covered in arrow holes. Don't think it's made of ordinary iron. That's the god-slaying arrow of our Chiyu tribe. Even if it's a god or an immortal without defense, they will still be shot through. Let's give it a try. Fong Lin sneered and pointed his sword, emitting a divine thunder of armor and wood, directly attacking Chi Ba. At the same time, he sacrificed mountain and sea pearls, turning them into colorful light and hitting Chi Ba. He then untied the purple golden gourd and sprayed three flavors of true fire, burning towards Chi Ba. This series of actions were all completed between the electric light and fire stones. With a sudden gasp, Fong Linton felt that Zhen Yuan was feeling a bit at a loss. If it weren't for Zhen Yuan's signs of breaking through to the apocalypse stage, he might not have been able to use it, if you don't take action, it's already done. With just one action, it's a thunderous attack, trying to get rid of Qi Ba. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. Leaving. You are listening at novelfull.audio. But he heard a deafening roar from the fire, and the mountains and sea pearls flew back. Chi Ba's huge body, resembling a demon god, came out with a bang. Apart from his clothes being a bit messy and a burnt black mark on his head, he was not injured. Kid, I've said it all, you can't break through my defense. Chi Ba was so proud that he laughed up in the sky. Fong Lin didn't answer, but with a single finger from the Seven Star Sword, he released an emu divine thunder. Without considering the outcome, he turned around and crawled into the group of people behind him. At this moment, a person from the Changha tribe quickly swung a sword energy to scatter the divine thunder, roared angrily, chased after Fong Lin, and shouted at the people who were bowing, shoot him to death for me. But the sound of popping kept going, and the arrows stopped in mid-air, forming a shield full of arrows around Fong Lin, without even hearing Fong Lin's screams. Impossible, what treasure can withstand so many attacks from the god-slaying arrow? The people of the Changha tribe exclaimed in silence, not seeing what treasure Fong Lin had used. How could Fong Lin in the arrow shield answer his question? He rushed into the crowd with this shield, like a road roller, stabbing countless people dead along the way. I can still use the talisman given to me by the immortal. Pick some and save them, so as not to gain anything. Fong Lin ran around inside, reaching out to pluck the arrows from the absolute defense shield, put it in the purple gourd, this arrow sounds powerful and should also be very valuable. Originally, Fong Lin activated a life.saving talisman given to him by the immortal before leaving, after opening it, you can obtain a protective shield for a certain period of time. According to the immortal, this shield cannot be broken below the golden immortal level. If the treasure is released and the flying sword kills, it relies on the condensed true spirit to command. 
However, if held in hand and only use the special functions of the treasure to attack, the true spirit will be hidden and protected. This way, the treasure money cannot find the true spirit point, and it cannot be dropped. If the treasure is released, there will be an opportunity for the dropped treasure and money to be used. Even if it is only sacrificed on the top for defense, it can still be dropped. However, at that time, both the dropped treasure and the dropped money will fall by the enemy's side the effect of the protective shield quickly passed, and with a loud crash, the arrow shield collapsed. However, Fong Lin was prepared and rolled out from the side that had drained the god-slaying arrow. Here, cut him down. Enemies were all around, and as soon as Fong Lin came out, he was discovered. He immediately called out to his friends and led the crowd, charging towards Fong Lin with non-mainstream human weapons. Damn it, if I don't succeed in the downfall of the tiger, I'll kill you with the wood thunder technique and the E wood god thunder. Fong Lin was furious, and the seven star sword repeatedly gestured, disregarding the imminent depletion of the true Yuan. He chopped down five thunder snakes, causing a group of enemies to cry and howl. Even if you squeeze him, you have to squeeze him to death. Let me do it all. Chi Ba, who was not far away, saw that there were too many people, so he could only stop and command his subordinates to surround Fong Lin. He wanted to use the tactic of a sea of people to defeat Fong Lin. Since we have offended him, we must eradicate the root cause and not let him go. Damn it, I can't hold on anymore, Fong Lin gasped for a moment and thought somewhat awkwardly. After looking in the direction, there was still a distance of more than ten meters from the forest. Fong Lin untied the purple golden gourd, pulled out the stopper, and used the last true element to spray out the Samadhi true fire. I'll burn down the entire forest, let's see how you guys mess around. Fong Lin chuckled fiercely. Hula hula, the three flavors of true fire sprayed out from the gourd sprayed onto the person, and suddenly ignited, because there were relatively few true elements, their power was not enough to instantly burn people to nothingness. However, now the fire is raging, and it is even more terrifying, causing chaos like a barracks bombing. Fire fighting, fire fighting, where's the water? Help me put out the fire quickly. The person on fire screamed out in agony, repeatedly slapping themselves, but unable to extinguish the three flavors true fire that only immortals could cultivate, so he grabbed the other people who were not on fire and wanted their help to put out the fire, but he didn't expect the fire to spread along his clothes to other people causing a sea of fire. Thick smoke rolled and the smell of meat filled the air. Don't panic, don't leave Fong Lin, catch him for me. Sun Ba behind was so anxious that he roared wildly, pushing aside the people on the side, they chased after them, but caught fire halfway and suddenly caught fire, in a panic, he quickly pulled off his clothes and was naked. Fortunately, the body of the witch race was strong enough, but it was completely black and did not harm him. Ha, huh, let's burn it, it's best to burn it all to death. Fong Lin didn't expect such a thing to happen and was immediately overjoyed, putting away the purple gourd, he stumbled into the forest. The people were busy extinguishing the fire on their bodies, surrounded by thick smoke and flames, but they didn't notice that Fong Lin had already escaped into the forest, oh, why are all these tribal people here? Fong Lin stopped in surprise and stood in an open space not far away, dozens of high-dot-altitude tribes and over 200 tribal people brought back by Fong Lin gathered in groups there, the hands were clearly tied together, with more than a dozen people from the Long River tribe guarding them carelessly, clearly believing that the task was easy. Since we saw it, let's save them. It's also considered a merit. Fong Lin hesitated for a few seconds and made up his mind to save them. After all, watching the tribe's indigenous people who had been together for more than two months being mistreated by the enemy, it was ultimately Fong Lin who didn't have such a ruthless heart. Fong Lin pulled off the jade hairpin on his head and rushed out. Although he didn't have much real energy, he was still more than enough to unleash the green snake sword Qi on the jade hairpin. The people of the Long River tribe, upon seeing Fong Lin, immediately took out their weapons and rushed forward, howling wildly as if excited to see a huge piece of pie. A group of soldiers, beyond their means. 
Fawn Lin laughed and waved his jade hairpin repeatedly, transforming into countless green snake sword energies. With just one sweep, he killed all the useless talents who were kicked to guard. Taking another breath, Fawn Lin complained to himself, like an old man, running out of true energy is troublesome, but fortunately there are no aftereffects. The residents cheered when they saw Fong Lin, along with the more than 200 prisoners who had killed those Long River tribes, and they all had a good impression of him. Chief, it's the chief who came to save us. Chief, too, is a traitor, the people he brought to the Long River tribe. Chief, the fire was killed by them, and the tribe's mental skills were also taken away by them. It's okay, I still have my mind skills. I have killed the young master of the Tuha and Changha tribes and avenged the people of our high mountain tribes, sighed Fong Lin. Quickly released a few residents and asked them to help untie the ropes of others. After more than half an hour of busy work, they finally untied them all. Hurry up, everyone go out first. I want to set fire to the entire forest so that they can't leave. Fong Lin urged the residents to leave quickly. When he heard that Fong Lin was going to set fire, he was immediately frightened and quickly helped each other run out. Fong Lin just took out his gourd and sprayed fire everywhere in the forest. It quickly caught fire, but these trees were still wet and were smoked by the fire, suddenly, thick smoke emerged, some of which were still carrying poisonous gas. Sensitive animals and beasts ran fast and could still survive. Those slow-moving and slow-reacting beasts were also burned to death. I don't know how big the cause and effect will be, Fong Lin threw himself out of the forest and looked at the whole forest covered in fire with some size as the crowd thought. Not to mention the forest, Fong Lin led a group of people around a high mountain and headed north. There was heavy snow there, which should be relatively sparsely populated and suitable for hiding for a period of time. Walking and stopping all the way, relying on the Fong Lin for hunting and gathering some fruits with everyone, I couldn't die of hunger. After walking for half a month, I arrived at the edge of the snow. At a glance, there was a vast expanse of white with no end. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10 Xianyuan Huangdi. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. At this moment, everyone was a bit tired and their bodies were trembling in the snow. Fong Lin hesitated for a while, but had not yet decided whether to continue moving forward. But I saw a big hole suddenly collapse in the snow ahead, and more than ten people walked out of the hole. There were also dozens of people standing on the snow beside me, wearing white animal skin clothes and hiding on the ground. If I didn't pay close attention, I couldn't see them. Be careful when the enemy attacks. Fong Lin was surprised and quickly drew his seven-star sword, offering sacrifices to the mountains and sea pearls, and became alert. Everyone was in chaos, but Fong Lin didn't have time to pay attention either. Is it Chief Fong Lin? Someone across from him asked. In the snowstorm, Fong Lin couldn't hear clearly and quickly asked, who called me? A person walked out from across the street and ran over happily, saying, it's me, Xiaoyang. Fong Linton was a bit stunned and murmured, Xiaoyang, how could it be you? At this moment, Fong Lin sat in a warm, spring-like wooden house, Fong Lin sighed and said, so when you cross a snowy mountain, this is where you compete for deer. Xiaoyang, I didn't expect you to be a member of the Xiong tribe. This Xiaoyang is another boy who served the immortal with Fong Lin before, and he went down the mountain before Fong Lin. As for who the immortal is, Fong Lin has some speculations. Taking off his military uniform, Xiaoyang's heroic demeanor became even more charming. Fong Lin was almost mesmerized by it, and Xiaoyang smiled awkwardly before turning his head. Xiaoyang chuckled softly and said, you didn't ask before. After going down the mountain, I returned to the Xiong tribe. To be honest, I am currently troubled. I have nothing to do every day and can only go hunting or something. Xiaoyang was his best friend and served the immortal together for ten years. 
After pondering for a moment, Fong Lin said, perhaps I have a way to solve it. Take me to meet the Yellow Emperor Xianyuan. The current Xianyuan Yellow Emperor, with a handsome face and boundless authority, is only in his teens and should not be underestimated, although young in age, he is already a chieftain of the Xiong tribe, at least in the realm of returning to the Void period, but now he does not have the famous Xianyuan sword in his hand. Xianyuan looked at Fang Lin and said calmly, Welcome to the Xiong tribe, the chieftain of Fang Lin from the Gaoshan tribe. Fang Lin bowed respectfully and said, I have seen Chief Xianyuan before. I have come here to discuss something with the chief. Please speak. Fang Lin pondered and said, I want to abdicate the position of chieftain of the High Mountain tribe to Xiaoyang of the Xiong tribe. Could you please ask Chief Xianyuan to take care of me on my behalf? I don't know what chief wants. Xianyuan was greatly surprised and asked, although Chief Fanglin's tribe was forced to leave their place of residence, their foundation still exists. As long as they find a place to cultivate and rest, they can rearrange their tribe's place of residence. Why do they abdicate now? Fang Lin smiled and said, On the one hand, I don't want the tribe to delay my progress. On the other hand, I am optimistic about the ability of the Xiong tribe, especially the Xianyuan chieftain, to lead the Gaoshan tribe and the Xiong tribe to develop into the world's number one tribe. Xianyuan listened with a smile on his face and pondered for a long time before nodding his head and saying, since Chief Fang Lin intends, then Xianyuan means that Xiong has agreed. Fang Lin was overjoyed and said, Thank you very much, Chief Xianyuan. Xianyuan said, Since that's the case, I can't help but express that I'm giving you a, Nine Transformations Resurrection Pill. As long as you have a breath of anger, taking it can restore all your states, even if you have broken limbs. I'll teach you another formation, Two Dragons Water Formation. Fang Lingdun was overjoyed. Fang Lin came out of Xian Yuan's room, and Xiaoyang quickly welcomed her and took Fang Lin back to her room. Fang Lin pulled Xiaoyang and said with a smile, I told Chief Xian Yuan that I will abdicate the position of the High Mountain Tribe Chief to you, and he promised to take care of you more in the future. Why did you abdicate the position of Chief to me? Xiaoyang asked in surprise. Fang Lin smiled and said, one is that you have your own interests, and the other is that I am clear about your management skills. Moreover, I don't have anyone else to trust, and I don't want to be trapped in a tribe. After thinking for a moment, Xiaoyang could only smile and say, All right, I'll help you manage this tribe. After hesitating for a while, he asked again, Are you leaving? Fang Lin nodded and said indifferently, Wealth and prosperity are in danger. I am alone and without the spirit of adventure, how can I achieve success? Xiaoyang bit his lips and whispered, why don't you join our bear tribe? We'll continue to be together in the future, okay? Fang Lin waved his hand and said decisively, even with bare hands and empty fists, I can conquer a vast world. When the sea and sky are open for me to swim, how can I bend over to others? Xiaoyang smiled bitterly and said, can't I either? Fang Lin said calmly, my heart remains unchanged. Xiaoyang could only sigh and say, I knew you would say that, so go ahead. Just remember, when you're tired, there's still your tribe here and someone willing to help you. Fang Lin smiled and said, how could I forget? He said to Xiaoyang again, have you learned the Yellow Emperor Yin Fu Jing? Of course I did. This is our tribal mental technique. Fang Lin smiled and said, Now that you have become the chieftain of the Gaoshan tribe, our tribe has the Fushi Yuanyang Sutra from the Fushi tribe. If you have the opportunity to learn the Shinong Taiwei Sutra from the Shinong clan, the merger of the three classics is called the Three Emperors Classic, which is a separate technique from the Tao Te Ching of the Supreme Lord. After learning the Three Emperors Classic, one may have the opportunity to be adopted as a disciple by the Supreme Lord in the future Xiaoyang exclaimed in shock, is there anything else like this? How did you know? Xiaoyang is aware of the name of Tai Shang Lao Jun. Fang Lin thought to himself, of course I learned about it from later generations. But he couldn't say it clearly, so he said lightly, it was the fairy who told me before I left, 
so if you have the opportunity to learn, don't give up. Xiaoyang nodded at the words. Fang Lin thought for a moment and then said, Actually, I think the Three Emperors Classic is the most suitable for you. It is said that after learning this scripture, whether it is alchemy and refining tools, fishing, hunting and animal husbandry, management and operation, commanding military operations, and other trivial matters, one can master and refine them as soon as they learn, which is very suitable for your personality. Xiaoyang nodded, lost in thought, but didn't say anything. So Fang Lin stood up, bid farewell to Xiaoyang, and set off alone on the road. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th.